Hi everyone, my name is Itamar Blauer and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Ahrefs SEO toolbar that you can download for free on Google Chrome and Firefox browsers and this is something that is actually really cool to be able to have for free and it offers a ton of features especially if you don't have an active paid Ahrefs subscription. So let's get started by looking into the sort of landing page that we've got for this toolbar so we can see that you can download it for Google Chrome and for Firefox. And these are the features that it provides you. So you have on page SEO reports, you can have a redirect tracer with HTTP headers, a broken link checker, link highlighter and SERP positions. And also if you are an Ahrefs user, you can get SEO metrics for every site and page you visit. And for Google search results, you can get keyword metrics and also SERP results export. So you can export the data from the SERP. And you get lots of really cool stuff and there will be a link to this, of course, in the description. But let's utilize this toolbar. I've got it running on Google Chrome and let's do it for my website here. So you'll see the little toggle over here. When we click that, we can see a bunch of stuff. So first of all, on the right hand side, we can get the toolbar settings where we can change things like the appearance, uh, shortcut settings, the SERP overview settings, which uh, we cannot change the country here, but we can choose to disable certain position numbers or not. And also blocked websites if there are any sites you don't want this toolbar to show up on. So that's the settings. And then we can see, first of all, the status code of the page that we're analyzing. So this is 200 status code, which is perfectly fine. We can get some more info when we click down here. We can also then move aside and click this button here and this is going to analyze all of the links to see any outgoing broken links here and then we can see the on-page SEO data by clicking on this icon here so we can see the main tab is going to show the title and the characters description meta description that is and the characters some robots txt info sitemap info date published and modified any canonical robots meta tags, X robot tags, the word count for the page. And we can see also the way that it's structured in terms of the heading tags. And then we've got some open graph tags and Twitter cards info and hreflang if that's applicable to the page that you're on. So that's the main tab with the on-page data report. And then we can move on to the images to see all of the images that are here. And it will give the URL, the alt uh, text or alt attribute and the title of the images. So that's the on-page data report. And then we've got a button here, which is link highlighter. So we can highlight, if we wanna highlight all the external links, we can see them highlighted in yellow. And if we wanna highlight the external links, they'll be highlighted in blue. So that's uh, useful to be able to toggle to find essentially where the internal and external links are. We can also see the nofollow outgoing links. So external or internal, so they'll be highlighted in, in this instance in blue. And uh, we can basically check to see all of the links being highlighted on the page which is really nice to have. So that's all what you get if you aren't signed in, but it does say you can sign in for more data. So I'm gonna quickly sign in and we'll see if anything changes. So now I'm signed in and we can see that this text has changed. It says monthly data limit hit, check subscription plan. So I'm not exactly sure what limit I went to, but it seems like everything has stayed the same in terms of the features that we've got here and to be honest even with this like with the features you get here without even needing to sign in it's still very good to have i mean you can check to see any redirect path so if you're on a page that's been redirected it will tell you and it will probably bring up the kind of redirect chain or what's occurred and even taking a look at the broken outgoing links taking a look at the on-page data report which is absolutely great because it covers pretty much everything you might want including images and we've also got the ability to highlight links here so all of that for a, a toolbar that you can download for free on chrome and firefox is pretty damn good and like i said it's a free toolbar to have you don't need to rely on 
various different uh, Chrome extensions, for example, if you use this, it should give you a very comprehensive kit to have at your disposal when you're checking individual web pages. So I hope you enjoyed this video reviewing the Ahrefs SEO toolbar that you can download for free on Google Chrome and Firefox. And like I said, I'll leave the link in the description as well. And let me know in the comments what your favorite part or maybe least favorite part about the toolbar is, if there's anything that you think should be included as part of this toolbar. It would be very interesting to hear your thoughts uh, down below. And if you did like this video, please leave a like rating below. That would really help me out. And I've been Itamar Blauer, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, you've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.